Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you. In this video, let us discuss about chicken pox. So coming to the introduction of the chicken pox. This chicken pox is a contagious disease which is mainly uh, which is mainly occurred by a virus and the name of the virus is varicella zoster virus and by the name itself indicates that chicken pox is also called as varicella right and this varicella zoster virus is shortly abbreviated as vzb and normally this chicken pox when this virus will enter into your body then the symptoms will be firstly seen in the chest region back region and the face region it starts on the chest back and face and later all of these symptoms can be seen in the rest of the parts of the body so the main symptom which you can see is i mean the sign the signs how you can see is that red color spots which you can see in all parts of the body okay which is visible and adults this ch chicken pox can be seen mostly in adults than in children okay and the symptoms can be seen up to 20 to 21 days after the exposure after the exposure is nothing but the exposing towards this virus and that's nothing but when this vzb virus will enter into your body and then the symptoms will start over and that symptoms you know the the time range of the symptoms is up to 10 to 21 days then uh, then if you take the proper medications within the 10 to 21 days then this chicken box will get off okay so enough this chicken pox is a airborne disease airborne disease means what airborne disease is nothing but uh, it is a type of disease which can be i mean this chicken pox can be transmitted from one person to another person uh, by the contact with air that's nothing but if you if you take a infected person and if you take a non-infected person if they both sit together and once the infected person will sneeze or else cough then immediately uh, the non-infected person will also get affected so in this way the, it gets transmitted in the air hence it is called as airborne disease and this chicken box can be seen in all parts of the world and according to the survey of 2013 140 million cases has been filed regarding the regarding this disease called chicken pox i mean regarding this viral infection called chicken pox and according to the survey of 2015 6400 people were dead i mean uh, it, this, these death cases will be very rare in chicken pox i mean if they if, if they will not take proper medications or else you know if if they are very if they do the negligence of this chicken pox then this then the people will lead to death so this is very rare and now let us learn about the discovery before entering into the discovery firstly you have to know about the zoster infection so zoster normally according to the according to these previous researchers it was came to know that the chicken pox as well as this zosters have the same type of symptoms but later and later uh, this was concluded with much difference so what is meant by zoster zoster is a viral infection uh, which is also called as shingles okay and the best sign which you can uh, say about this zoster is that painful rashes i mean the red color rashes can be seen throughout all parts of your body uh, that indicates that uh, the uh, the person is infected with a zoster and the best symptoms you can see in this type of person is redness that's nothing but red color rashes will be appeared all parts of your body and blister ulcers scabs itching itching is a main thing okay so in this in the same way chicken pox also has the same symptoms right but if you've seen the discovery enough the relationship was not known between zoster and chicken pox till 1888 till 1888 it was confirmed that zoster and chicken pox both are same and next later in 1943 ruska is a scientist who noticed the similarity of the virus for both zoster and chicken pox and then he noticed the uh, similarity of the virus and let us learn the structure of the virus of this chicken pox okay and next in uh, later 1974 first vaccine was introduced for this chicken pox okay remember this one this is very important and that vaccine is called as chicken pox vaccine varicella or varicella vaccine so now let us see what is the cause cause, cause is nothing but which i have already said you and varicella zoster virus uh, which is shortly abbreviated as vzv is the only cause uh, is the only virus which causes this chicken pox and this varicella zoster virus sometimes it also referred as human alpha herpivirus 3 which is shortly abbreviated as HHV3. So now let us learn about the structure of the varicella zoster virus, which is shortly abbreviated as VZV. And it is also referred to as human alpha herpes virus 3 HHV3, which is shortly abbreviated as, as I have said you before. And this the VZV is one of the eight herpes viruses infections. So what is mean by herpes viruses? Let us see now. Herpes viride. To know about this herpes viride, firstly you have to know about the herpes viride. And this herpes viride is one of the large family of DNA viruses. Family is nothing but uh, you know about the phylum, class, family, order, species, sub you know you know all of these classifications, right? Among that family is one of them. And this herpes viride is one of the large family of DNA viruses which causes the infection in both humans as well as the animals. 
and the members which belongs to this herpes viride family are called as herpes viruses so now we got what is mean by herpes viruses right the members uh, which are present in which belongs to this family of herpes viride are called as herpes viruses and according to 1971 ictv established this herpes viruses so what is mean by ictv ictv is nothing but international committee of taxonomy and virus and what is the main source what is the main function of this ictv is that it is a source which mainly helps in nomenclature of this viruses i mean if the new virus has been discovered then the name of that virus will be given by this ictv you know that total nomenclature will be taken by this ictv so in this in the same way ictv has established this herpes viruses in 1971 and this herpes viride will be will cause infection in two forms latent as well as lytic infections so now let us learn about the structure of this vzv deep come into the structure of the vzv that's nothing but varicella zoster virus and the uh, structure will be spherical in shape i mean the shape will be in spherical and the diameter ranges from 180 to 200 nanometers and the capsomeres uh, the shape of the capsomeres are icosahedral and the dna is single linear double stranded and the dna is 125000 nucleotide long you know about the nucleotides nucleotides are nothing but we these are called as nitrogenous bases like if you take adenine guanine cytosine thymine uracil and if you the, to know more about this nucleotides uh, you can watch my previous videos or as the link will be given in the description box you can see there uh, so that you can clearly understand the structure of the dna and how it will be prepared and this is a long lasting process we have to know about it and this dna is made up of 125000 nucleotides long remember this one now and next the envelope is interspersed by spikes made up of viral glycoproteins so what are spikes and what are these glycoproteins i am going to see enough see let us learn let us see the structure of this vzv as i have said you the structure of the vzv will be i mean the shape will be in spherical shape so this will be spherical shape and the, the diameter of this vzv virus is 180 to 200 nanometers and the capsomeres are as icosahedral okay and this is the uh, you know this this is called as if you see here, for, for, from first onwards let us come here these are glomerulus glycoprotein spikes which i have said you here the envelope is interspersed by spikes made up of glycoproteins so these are the spikes which are made up of glycoproteins and here this purple color one uh, we have drawn throughout the surface is known as lipid envelope and this is the blue color one which i have drawn is known as tegument and this is the nucleoplasmid this is a nucleoplasmid and inside this nucleoplasmid capsomeres will be present and the capsomeres are icosahedral which i have said you before and coming to the dna only single dna will be present which i have said you and it is linear in form and it is double stranded okay it is double stranded dna not single stranded remember this virus consists of double stranded dna and how much of long it is 125000 nucleotide long and this will be the structure of this varicella zoster virus vzv which is shortly abbreviated as vzv this vzv virus will get multiplied in lungs and causes the symptoms and let us see the symptoms uh, what are the symptoms can be seen in a person who is infected with this chicken pox i mean uh, firstly let us come to the classification it, uh, this vzv virus belongs to the class and in normally i have said you in the varicella zoster virus right and it be, be the it belongs to one of the eight herpes viride infect which infects the human i mean you know about the herpes viride which i have said it is of type of family so that's what i have we have given here it belongs to the family called herpes viride it belongs to the order called as herpes virales and it belongs to the class insecticides so this will be the classification and now let us see the symptoms of a person who is infected with this type of disease known as chicken pox so uh, one of the important thing uh, this is a sign this is not a symptom this is a sign and this is the uh, the basic thing which we all of us know that chicken pox the best sign of the chicken pox is a red color spots which will be appeared throughout all parts of the body in the human beings right and next to nausea loss of appetite age, uh, you know aching muscles muscle aches that's nothing but pain in the muscles headache malaise rashes so this will be the symptoms for a person who is infected with this type of disease called chicken pox so now let us learn the treatment which will be given for that infected person so i have said you that vaccine has been discovered right when in the year of say 1974 this vaccine has been discovered so that vaccine uh, chicken which is called as chicken pox vaccine or else it is also called as varicella vaccine and coming to the medications that's nothing but the type of drugs which will be taken we should be taken aspirin containing products antihistamines and this both are very important diphenhydramine and another one is 
acetaminophen and here one of the important thing which you have to remember is that antihistamines can be available in the market in both forms one is in the cream uh, you know in the like a uh, lotion one this is one of the type and another type is in the form of drug which should be intake from our mouth but remember the antihistamine should be taken uh, from from the mouth you know it should be taken as the form of drug but don't apply any type of creams which belongs to this antihistamines because it is very much powerful and it causes some of the rare effects which causes the rashes and some other symptoms will also be included if you apply some of the lotions which belongs to this antihistamines so my best consultants for you is that antihistamines should be taken from the mouth in the form of drug only but not from the, in the form of creams or else any type of lotions so this is about the medications which you have to take for the infected person who is infected with this type of disease known as chicken pox. So this is about the chicken pox friends. Hope you would like this video and if you like this video just do like and subscribe and share it with your friends. And if you like this video just do like and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment in the comment box. I am going to be a clarified doubts immediately. Thank you.